Good morning, folks. Hope everyone in the hurricane path is safe right now. Today we're going to see an interesting story about solar wind turbulence and where it begins. There's an outstanding discovery about NOVA events on stars, but of course we are starting, as always, with the last 24 hours on the sun. We had a few M-class flares, but they were short and impulsive with no significant CMEs aimed at Earth. We do have all these plasma filaments still standing stable in the corona right now, and we're likely about to see a surge in sunspot number. Biggest group is approaching central longitudes, while at the left side another larger group appears to be cresting into view on the south. We'll keep watching. Let's take a quick look at Helene's landfall here. There are already casualties reported and over 2 million without power. Now the threat shifts to the inland flooding from the system expected to stall out later today. Eyes on your forecast, folks. Top quake of the last few days struck off the coast of Africa and the South Indian Ocean. It is always good when pressure releases happen way out to sea rather than in populated areas. Let's go to the science articles where they have now definitively confirmed that solar wind turbulence is created in the corona. While the solar wind is flowing outward in every direction at all times, it is not of a constant density or speed, leading to bunching, interaction, collisions, and the turbulence that spacecraft have spotted from the sun to distances out further than the Earth. Top science news today hits an abundance of NOVA events near cosmic jets. They unquestionably see a triggering of the stellar explosions nearby to the jet, but their guesses as to why don't seem to match the data, and they admit they really can't explain why these NOVA events are surging around the jet-excited region. Well, folks, I would wager a lot that this is due to the second NOVA trigger that astronomers already know about. While the most common mechanism is accretion, the dumping of material onto a star, remember the second mechanism is a magnetic kick, a major electromagnetic disruption. If a cosmic jet isn't one of the most extreme versions of that in the universe, don't know what is. Folks, don't forget there are lots of events ongoing at Observer Ranch, including my 40th birthday on October 19th. I'll be out there middle of the day Sunday as well to see any observers passing through. Truly, we would love for you to come see us in person. ObserverRanch.com We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.